breaking. Court told to sack DSS Director General over Namdikanu. Court told sack. Court told to sack DSS Director General over Namdikanu. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Urewa, has asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja to jail the Director General of the Department of State Services, DSS. The call came following a court decision that was supposed to allow the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Unamdekanu, have maximum possible comfort while in, the, while in custody. The trial judge, Justice Betaun Yako, will give the order on Thursday, also order the DSS to allow the Biafra agitator to have a change of clothes, give him medical attention, and allow him practice his faith. The rule of law must be observed in all our dealings, and we must impress it on the government at all levels to actively toe the path, Uriwa said. The right of every citizen against any form of oppression and impunity must be jealously guided and protected with the legal tools at our disposal. All binding court orders must be obeyed. Nobody, irrespective of his or her position, will be allowed to toy with court's judgment. Violation of a court order is serious, and you could find yourself paying dearly committing contempt can include both civil and criminal penalties, such as fines, Anthony fees, reduced custody time, and even jail. The, continue, the continuous refusal of the DSS to abide by the rules of the court is regarded as simply as contempt of court. Where was strongly conversed that the court does the needful by sending the head of the DSS to jail for treating the order of the competent court of law with contempt and absolute disrespect. Yusuf Magajibichi was appointed September 18, 2018 as the Director General of State Security Services. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja to jail the Director General of the Department State Services, DSS. The call came following a court decision that was supposed to allow the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob, Namdekanu, have maximum possible comfort while in custody. The trial judge, Justice Bintaun Yako, who gave me the order on Thursday, also ordered the DSS to allow the Biafra agitator to have a change of clothes, give him medical attention, allow and allow him practice his faith. The rule of law must be observed in all our dealings, and we must impress it on the government at all levels to actively toe the path. Oriwa said, the right of every citizen against any form of oppression and impunity must be jealousy, guided and protected with the legal tools at our disposal. All binding court orders must be obeyed. Nobody, irrespective of his or her position, will be allowed to toy with court judgment. Violation of a court order is serious and you could find yourself paying dearly. Committing contempt can include you can include both civil and criminal penalties such as fines, Anthony fees, reduced custody time, and even jail. The continuous refusal of the DSS to abide by the rules of the court is regarded as simply as contempt of court. Holy was strongly conversed that the court does the needful by sending the head of the DSS to jail for treating the order of the competent court of law with contempt and absolute disrespect. Yusuf Magajibichi was appointed September 18, 2018 as the Director General of the Security State Services. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has asked the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja 
to jail the Director General of the Department of State Services, TSS. The call came following a court decision that was supposed to allow the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unamdekano, have maximum possible comfort while in custody. The trial judge, Justice Binta Unyako, who gave the order on Thursday, also ordered the DSS to allow the Biafran agitator to have a change of clothes, give him medical attention, and allow him practice his faith. The rule of law must be observed in all our dealings, and we must impress it on the government at all levels to actively toe the path. Uriwa said, the right of every citizen against any form of oppression and impunity must be jealously guarded and protected with the legal tools at our disposal. All binding court orders must be obeyed. Nobody, irrespective of his or her position, will be allowed to toy with court judgment. Violation of a court order is serious, and you could find yourself paying dearly. Committing contempt can include both civil and criminal penalties, such as fines, Anthony Fuse, reduced custody time, and even jail. The continuous refusal of the DSS to abide by the rules of the court is regarded as simply as contempt of court. Oriwa strongly conversed that the court does the needful by sending the head of the DSS to jail for treating the order of the competent court of law with contempt and absolute disrespect. Yusuf Magaji Bichi was appointed September 18, 2018 as the Director General of the State Security Service. DG SSS. To our dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now, before I go, in my spa, in my in my own view, I feel the Uriwa Association of Human Rights has actually done well, because how would you have um, throw away to, throw away what the court said, and yet you 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 detain someone illegally, and you are still treating him illegally. Even despite the courts ordered them to put him in a maximum comfort in in a comfort facility, and he should be allowed to change his clothes, eat the kind of food he wants, practice his religion, and this is being done to him. I think it is unfair. To my dear listeners, we can't just watch them doing this to um Mazi Unamdekano. A rightful uh, rightful department should do something about this because this is inhumane and denying denying of human rights denying of fundamental of his human rights it is unlawful and it is unconstitutional too to my dear listeners now i've come to the end of our today's news please do drop out the comment section and let us know what your view is all about today's news thank you